physiology of digestion. Understand the physiology of digestion that involves ingestion. Digestion Absorption and ejection. The food is taken into the body through the mouth. This process is called ingestion. The food on chewing is broken down into smaller particles and it mixes with saliva to form bolus. This bolus then enters the esophagus by peristaltic movement and then reaches a sac-like muscular bag known as the stomach. The stomach contains a few enzymes and hydrochloric acid. The muscular wall of the stomach helps in mixing and churning the food, which help to break down the bolus into a mass known as the chyme. This chyme passes into the duodenum. The pancreas, gallbladder and the liver are the accessory digestive organs. Liver produces and gallbladder releases the bile juice while the pancreas releases the pancreatic juice. These secretions enter the duodenum through the hepatopancreatic duct. The bile juice acts on the fat molecules and the pancreatic juice acts on the food molecules and breaks them down into simpler particles. After this, the digested food particles move into the lower part of the small intestine. A sectional view shows numerous villi on its inner surface. The digested simple food particles include the useful molecules, the waste particles and some water molecules. A closer look at a villus shows the blood vessels and the lacteal. The useful molecules get absorbed into the blood and the lacteal. This food is eventually transported to the various parts of the body providing them with energy. The remaining unabsorbed waste particles and water molecules move further. These molecules further pass through the small intestine and finally reach the ascending colon of the large intestine. From here, it passes through the transverse colon to the descending colon. Most of the water molecules are absorbed by the walls of the colon and the waste substances are collected in the lowermost part of the colon, known as the rectum. From there, the waste substances are excreted out. Thus, the process of digestion is completed. To summarize the topic, we see that the complex food that is ingested is acted upon by enzymes in the stomach and broken into simpler food particles. Then in the duodenum, the enzymes act on these particles and further break them into simpler particles, which now can be absorbed by the villi in the small intestine. This food is transported to the various parts of the body, providing them with energy. The undigested food and water molecules move into the large intestine, where the water molecules are absorbed by the intestinal walls, and the undigested food is collected in the rectum and finally ingested.